Hi friends, I'm literally going to cry right now. Look, I got my gap closed, but I'm literally so happy about this whole experience. So I went to a new dentist. His name is Dr. Shu and he's amazing. He owns the Oak Valley Dental in my area. If you guys are looking for a good family dentist, a good cosmetic dentist, he is so amazing. You guys, let me zoom in. Oh my God. He did such a good job. At this point, I feel like closing my bottom gaps as well and then just closing all of this instead of thinking about getting veneers because Dr. Dr. Shu did such a good job. Like, I'm so happy compared to my last dentist and the other dentist I went to last week that did it and then it literally fell off. I'm literally so happy with the results. Like, I cannot stop staring at my teeth. Oh my gosh. And the team is so amazing. Like, Dr. Shu is so nice and so sweet and like really, he's like a soft talker. Like, he makes you feel really comfortable in the chair and then his team, oh, they're so nice and bubbly and they just make you so happy. I'll leave their information down below if you guys are in the area and you're looking for a good family dentist or someone to do composite bonding or veneers or Invisalign. He literally does everything. I feel like closing up my other gaps now. Mom, literally the best dentist ever. Let me see. Like the best. Like I regret going to the other dentist to get my composite bonding. Damn, it's blurry. What? It's blurry? You see? Oh my god. He's so good. It makes me want to close my other gaps. He like is so good. It makes me want to oh feel. It god. makes me want to close. Like it's real. It makes me want to close all my gaps. Look. Oh my Do you see? God. Oh my god. He did so, so good. good. He did so good. Smile for me. Oh then. my god, Kim. Look, Maiden. You got some good teeth right now. Thank you. Thank you. Oh on a commercial with oh, the look so Thank you. I haven't had a dentist that did this before, but he was like showing me the curves of my teeth and he was like, oh, like this one's a little bit lower, so I'm gonna like even out your surface. And I was like, that's what they're supposed to do. I was like, no one's ever told me that. And then obviously I couldn't see what he was doing in my mouth, but I could feel it. He did like steps, you know? Like there were things he did right. that like my, I feel like my last dentist free handed it. Oh, he like absolutely free handed it. They Dude. Look so good. Is that he did it in like 20 minutes? I kind of want you to do your. <laughs> no, stop! I want to close this gap at the bottom too. I know, mom. If you fixed your bottom gap, you'd be set. I know. You'd be like so set. It would be insane. Oh my god, Doctor Shu did such a good job. When he showed me the mirror when he was done, I literally almost like had a like a meltdown because they look so good. I can't wait to show you like in person. So good. Oh, and he watches my mukbangs. <laughs> Oh, so he knows what you do. Yeah. He's like, she needs those shoppers. It started raining again in California. The weather said that it was supposed to be sunny today, and then literally three days ago, it just said, bop, we gonna rain today. And it's supposed to be sunny next week, but then it was like, bop, we're gonna rain for two days next week. So the rain is back. I don't mind the rain. I just need this rain to stop by the end of April, okay? These bags are so cute. For what, $5? How cute is this? I love this one, but it said mom on it. Look at this one. I was like, that's a cute little tote, but it said mom. I was like, uh, never mind. My mom wouldn't like it. I was kind of, I was gonna buy it for me. Oh, this is a plain one if you want to get artsy. I'm in the dollar section at Target. The last time we were here, they had these little ones. Remember, you guys, I grabbed one. Now they have bigger jars. If you want to put like dog food or candy and stuff, those are cool. Five dollars as well. These are really cool too for like soap. I really like that. And then they have these five dollar cutting board or like cheese boards. They're really cute to use to display food or like to decorate with. These would be so cute to display desserts for springtime. If you're having like maybe like an Easter brunch or a birthday party or a picnic, they're so cute. You can put desserts in here. I'm in the home decor section, but I don't need anything here because nothing's changed. <laughs> and I feel like I already have everything. I'm gonna walk away. <laughs> But look, this is the vase that I have in my office that I showed you guys last time we got a chance to hang out. So cute. I've always thought this ottoman was so beautiful. I don't need it, but if you guys need an ottoman, I think this is so, so cute. I just saw this bowl. It's quite cute. It's kind of heavy though. And the bottom has texture. I don't love that too much. Nice little bowl. Target has really cute gift bags right now. How beautiful is this with flowers? I really want to get this one for my sister-in-law. 
if Miss Remy Cruz was a gift bag, she would be this. Remy, if you're watching this vlog, this is you if you were a gift bag. So cute. So Target has this brand called Bright Room. It's like an organizational line at Target. And these look so similar to the ones I got at Ikea. Look, you guys. And then it comes with the lid and everything. You can put the lid on top. Oh my goodness. And like stack it up. They're stackable. Wow, it's been a while since I've checked out the Bright Room collection at Target. And it looks like they really stepped up their game. These are so cool. Oh my goodness. Look at this lazy Susan that's split in half and it's black so aesthetically pleasing this is so cool for 14 bucks so tomorrow is Mario's birthday and I wanted to share with you what we got him for his birthday so as you guys know Mario is our primary handyman he is amazing I always actually have his information in the description bar down below his email his phone number if you guys want to contact him for anything around your house. He has done so many projects at our house. He has lifted up all of the carpet and put hardwood flooring down for us. He's helped us with the laundry room. He's helped us with the pantry room. He's done our primary bedroom. He's helped us with the molding on our walls. He's, re he's redone our bathrooms. He's done so many things, so professional. He's actually coming back next week because he's gonna help us do a project in our backyard, which I'm really excited about. He's helped us with everything. If you guys are looking for a handyman, I highly recommend Mario. He's honest which I really, really appreciate. He'll tell you exactly what he thinks would be best for your home. He's so professional, always on time, and just works really efficiently. So he's really fast, but he's also really, really good at what he does. So I love Mario, and we appreciate him so much. His wife, Raquel, is actually my hairstylist who does my hair for special occasions. You guys have met Raquel so many times. We love and appreciate Raquel and Mario so much. So we got him this perfume because there was this one time Mario was here doing a project and we were in a deep conversation about perfumes and colognes and he was like have you ever tried this cologne before it's my favorite cologne and it's been like 10 plus years and I haven't been able to find it anywhere so I miss it like I stopped using it and I happened to write down his favorite perfume I was like well what is it and I searched and searched and I was able to find it online for him so I'm actually surprising him with this for his birthday and I'm really really excited if you guys are interested this is the cologne Alone. I'll link it down below for you. Mario says it smells amazing and I definitely trust him. He's like really, really into colognes. And then naturally, of course, I had to get Mario a Home Depot gift card because that's literally his second home. He loves, loves Lowe's and Home Depot and all the home stuff. So we're gonna put this into the card. As you guys know, I always keep a container in my office filled with birthday cards. So whenever it's someone's birthday, I just go in here and choose one. I also have like blank ones as well. I'm literally stocked up on cards and I don't know which one we should do for Mario. I don't know, I might just do a blank one to keep it like nice and sleek. So I have these like blank cards that we can write on. You guys see them? Look at them. <laughs> he is my baby, I love him so much. I am making Carlo's chicken with rice and veggies for dinner. I'm having fish with rice and veggies. Carlos doesn't like fish, so he's gonna do chicken. That's what I forgot at Target, you guys. I don't have cooking oil. So we're gonna have to use butter. Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh, I'm so mad at myself. I was in the cooking aisle and I was like, not the cooking aisle, I was looking for food in the food aisles and I was like, I'm missing something and it was cooking oil. We're gonna have to use soft butter for the chicken, which is fine. That's not the end of the world. It's not the end of the world. We'll be fine. Pepper, paprika, Cajun, we'll do adobo. We'll do like a little bit of this for tonight. And then I can marinate the other one in like a teriyaki sauce and meal prep for probably. Okay, the chicken going. We're gonna do adobo. We're gonna do Cajun. We're gonna do paprika and pepper. A little bit of sriracha. Come on, man. There we go. Ooh, it looks amazing. It smells great, too. I already have the jasmine rice inside my rice cooker.
It looks so good. Yummy. I love the color. It's looking beautiful. We are warming up or actually steaming the green beans right now. And the rice is done. So we're almost there. Yum. Carlos's plate is done. We have the chicken, the rice, and the greens. Looks delicious. The chicken was bomb, you guys. Next up, we have my fish for dinner. We have tilapi til tilapia. <laughs> I never know how to say it. And then the swah fish, I think. Oh my God, I'm so bad with names. But okay, I'll show you guys later, goodbye. And this is my dinner. I'm having mushrooms, fish, rice, and shrimp. Yum. Happy birthday. Aw, man. Hopefully we I can remember. Rap, so we used to we didn't have wrappers. Right. Hopefully <laughs> I remember correctly what no. it was. Oh man, thank you. Yeah. I, I said she's been trying to get uh, get your present to you. I know. You think I know what it is. You do? I think I know, yup. Yeah. You're so cute, foil. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Dude, this is such an old man's song. Yeah, I know! <laughs> we literally had like a 15 minute conversation about it. And I was like, okay, when's your birthday? Oh, I gotta remember. Oh and, and, man, can I put it right? I love it. Yeah, yeah. so sure. <laughs> far. His old man cologne. Yup. <laughs> oh! That's really nice. Oh, yeah. he loves oh, it, this kind of smells strong, old man smell. This kind of smells like the polo red. The rest of the chicken I just prepped for Carlos. I'm going to put this in a container for tomorrow. But instead of doing like dry seasoning like I just did, I did oyster sauce with honey and pepper and sriracha and a little bit of ad adoba. Adobe? Adoba? Adobo! <laughs> I didn't know what it was called. And it's so good, you guys. It literally tastes like something you would order at a, like a Chinese restaurant, like authentic Chinese chicken. It's so good. You know when the flavor is like nice and sweet, but not too sweet, got a little bit of savory to it. I'm so sad I didn't film this, so I'll have to film it for you sometime next week when I remake this, because it was so good. Good morning, friends. It's the next day. Today's Saturday. Have the best sleep of my life. I'm heading to a quick nail appointment. But if you're wearing black and you have four dogs before you leave the house, you need to do this. Our boys don't shed. We have dogs that don't shed. We just got really lucky that literally Cooper doesn't shed and then our rescues don't shed at all. However, they're dogs. Just like humans, you know, our dead skin falls off, but we don't actually see it. It's the same thing with our dogs. We don't see the hair, but when we clean, we see the hair. Let's go. Every time I reverse and like, okay, see? Ooh, you guys hear that? I went to Toyota and they like, they said that and my car was fine, but... Hmm, I wonder what that is. See, every time I reverse... That's pretty freaking loud. Okay, I need to get that checked out because that's freaking me out. And we're going to LA and OC coming up with this car. Okay, well, I need to figure that one out. I went back to French. We did chop my nails a little bit because you guys, I literally could not type with those long nails. But yeah, we went back to the typical French that I always do. Joyce is amazing. This is her salon right here, Essa Nail Spa. Oh, I love it. I am going to, I think, head to TJ Maxx, which is like right around the corner. And I was gonna grab something to eat, but I actually have a bunch of leftover food from last night. Last night I made that fish dish with like the mushrooms and the rice, but it was a lot of food, so I didn't get to finish it. So I'm gonna have that today. But first, I think I want Starbucks, so come. So much easier to type on my phone. My mom never answers the phone, like never. But when I don't answer, it's like the end of the world. I'm sorry, but the person you call- I'm gonna double call her. Fine, mother. Goodbye. Oi, yay. I always hate when they give you the drinks and it's a super big mess. I feel like I, get, I got scammed. <laughs> I feel like this is not a lot. Oh, that tea's bomb. So I've been getting, are you going? I've been getting a matcha green tea ice with soy milk per usual and a tiny bit of sweet cream and it tastes ugh, delicious. I'm actually really hungry. So let's make this trip 
fast and we can go home and eat because it's dinner time. I also have to pick out my outfit for tomorrow because tomorrow is my sister-in-law Kim's birthday party. I'm so excited. We're going to dinner. We are doing a big family dinner. We're taking her out to this Mexican place in Newport Beach. I still have to go home and like wrap her present and put that together. I'm gonna wash my hair and do it tomorrow because we don't have to leave until like I think three o'clock in the afternoon. So not only can I sleep in, but I can get ready and look decent. I'm at Home Goods and they have the best cutting boards or like charcuterie boards, wood boards if you guys need them for anything. Like, oh, they're so beautiful and they're so much more affordable here than buying it anywhere else. Oh my gosh. And they're in stock. I came here on a Saturday, so everyone's here. Like, I love these like thick boards. They're such good quality. Like, that one's $25. <laughs> I love it here. I'm just skimming to see what they have. They have all their spring and Easter stuff out right now at Home Goods. This outdoor patio table set is so freaking cute oh my goodness like look at these chairs they're such good quality so this whole set I think is what 1700 I don't know if that's expensive it's a seven piece outdoor set for 1700 I don't know I don't know anything about patio like outdoor furniture that is really good material this is so cute oh my goodness look at these oak lamps how beautiful don't know how much though. How much are you? Oh, forty dollars. Wow. I think I would change the top out. Cashier and this one's really pretty four. too. I'm in the light section. Found an arch mirror. Hello. It's my outfit today. <laughs> oh, a dark wood one too. Wow. My home goods is stocked. Look what I found at Home Goods. I'm trying to get that vase. That's cute too. Oh my god, this is such a good find. That vase is so pretty. I look down here and they have it down here. It's so big. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of those. That's so cute. I'm so excited. I saw these oven gloves and I thought they were so cute for spring. They're by the brand KitchenAid and $10. I actually need new ones. The ones I have in my kitchen I've had for like seven years. But these are so cute for spring. I love spring like lemons, flowers. And then it's about to be really nice outside and we are gonna sit outside and have like dinner and stuff So I thought these mats were cute. They're like light. They also have a dark one down there But I think I like the light version better. This is really cute I have some mushrooms left over from last night that I'm just gonna cook and eat with my leftovers Chicken from last night Was this good, Bubba? Yeah Here's my super random dinner. We have the leftover rice and fish and mushrooms from last night, and then leftover chicken and mushrooms from last night. And then, as you guys know, I always have to have like a side of veggies. So tonight I'm doing cucumbers. I love doing cucumbers with like literally anything savory or salty because it's just like a really nice refreshing balance. But this is my very random dinner. It looks delicious. It's gonna taste great. I'm going to eat this, and Carlos and I are watching that new documentary that came out a few days ago about about the Malaysian airplane that like completely disappeared over the ocean or something. I think it's called M MH370 or something. It's on Netflix right now, you'll see it. But it's so interesting, like it happened in 2014 and I kind of remember hearing it on the news but completely forgot about it. So I think this year they launched the documentary on the ninth year anniversary. Until this day, people still don't know what happened to the airplane and it's such a mystery, it's so wild. But we watched a little bit of last night, I think two hours episodes. It was so late we fell asleep. So we're gonna watch it tonight. You guys, I'm so excited for, about this. Last night I made like honey teriyaki chicken for Carlos and it turned out so good and I'm so mad at myself because I did not film it so I could share you with you guys the recipe. So I'll have to make it again, maybe like the next time we hang out. Mmm. The chicken's really good. Wow. And honestly, it was so easy to make. It was like two ingredients. Mmm, this is such a dream. I wish I had a little bit more rice, but it's okay. This dinner is delicious. Mmm, it's so messy, I'm sorry. Mmm, oh my God. The tilapia is so good. Mm-hmm. I love mushrooms. 
I love mushrooms on my pizza. Good morning, my angels. It is the next day. It's Sunday. Hello, good morning. Actually, not morning right now. It's like 1.30. I just took a shower. I did my skincare. I'm about to do my makeup real quick. I woke up really, really bloated. And I am dying to poop and also burp. TMI, but you guys know we're real and raw here. My skin is also glowing because I just put this moisturizer on by Verse, the one that I always use. Ugh, it's amazing, I'll link it down below for you guys. But yeah, feeling a little oily right now. <laughs> I'm gonna go do my makeup, but first I'm gonna eat a banana and drink some water. And hopefully that, that gets my system going. Okay, I have my water, I have my banana, but I think I'm going to drink my favorite, favorite soda that's healthy. This is a prebiotic soda by this brand, Poppy. I've talked about them so many times. And also, if you guys are on your phones, you know what Poppy is. It's all over TikTok. I originally tried Poppy because Remy has a whole fridge of these. And she was like, they're so good, they're so good. Bought them, fell in love with them. I get mine at Target. I wish there was a place that would sell them in huge amounts. I guess I could try ordering online. I haven't tried that technique yet. Love it, so good for you. I think the, the soda is gonna be a hit or miss for some people because if you are like a really obsessive soda person and you love the sweetness, it doesn't taste identical to soda, but it still to me tastes good. I like that it makes me burp. And also I think that this also does help people poop as well. It has 7% dietary fiber. So very good alternative for soda drinkers. There's also another brand called Olipop, I believe. I tried that for a little bit. I like Poppy way more. Also, cherry limeade is my current favorite flavor. I also love the strawberry one. And then if you guys like Sprite, like a healthier poppy version is, I think they're, it's called the ginger lime. I'm gonna share this with Carlos because I think this whole container is a little bit too much because I just woke up. But that's why I'm eating a banana because I read somewhere that, I don't know where I read it. And I don't even know if it's true, but it makes sense to me, okay? <laughs> I read somewhere that you should always eat something before you drink coffee or anything in the morning. And that really explains why I was having stomach issues because I would literally, the sun's playing with our hearts right now. I would literally wake up, coffee right away, and I would feel disgusting throughout the day and like my tummy would hurt. So now I wake up and I try to eat something and today we're choosing a banana. Hello, I'm in my studio, which, oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot wait to show you. I'm finally, after like a year of debating about it, I'm finally going to get a makeup desk. I don't know if you guys remember, but when I used to live at home, at my mom's house, I had the Impressions Vanity makeup area. I think I have a video on my channel. It's like Kim Tai makeup collection or something, but it was their, called their Slay Station and it had like the br the big old Hollywood mirrors with like the little light bulbs all around. So that was at my mom's house. And when I moved out of my mom's house like five years ago, I never got one again because they're really expensive. So I opted for like other options. And then lately I just have been getting ready on my filming table in the studio, but I've been thinking about it. And like sometimes lighting is bad and I just like want a place where I can just sit and like relax and just like get ready. So I've been thinking about it and I think I'm gonna pull the trigger and I'm gonna do the makeup desk. So when that happens, I'll def definitely film it and share it with you guys. I do really miss like makeup sometimes. So I'm really, really excited to just like sit down and have fun. I forgot I got my gap closed. <laughs> I was like, wait, I look different. I'm really, really excited. All right, let me get ready real quick. I got my poppy here. Oh, the cherry lemonade, so good. I got this chair. I got that huge chair off Amazon. Well, actually this was a gift from my best friend, Brooke. This chair, huge, you guys. I am a pretty thick girl down there. Like I got big thighs and big legs and I literally can crisscross applesauce. But the chair won't stay still though. I'm using this new foundation that everyone's been talking about. This is the Makeup by Mario foundation. Everyone's been talking about this, so I finally got it. I grabbed the shade 3W. Let's see if it's good. Apparently it's really good for dry girls. So I'm a dry girl. Dry girl or dry boy? Anyone can wear makeup. Makeup is a form of art, and if you feel pretty and you wanna wear it, you can. So it's for everyone. I am, hopefully this works. I've heard some mixed reviews, and I don't know if today's actually the day to be trying new makeup, to be honest with you. If you guys don't remember, today is my sister-in-law Kim's birthday, and we're all going to this Mexican restaurant in Newport. Hopefully this is my color. I already primed. I used my Benefit for Fresh professional primer. And then I went in with my Milk Hydro primer, this thing right here. And before that I did a bunch of skin prep. Alrighty, 
Let's see. I also have a beauty blender. Hopefully that's not too much. I used to wear makeup all the time. Now I rarely wear makeup, so hopefully I remember what I'm doing. Let me spread this out a little bit. I have the most redness around my cheek area. That's a great place to demonstrate this. See if it has good coverage. I'm just gonna go in with a damp beauty blender. I think it's my color. Seems like my color. It seems nice. There are two foundations that I feel like when I put it on, I instantly feel prettier. And like the formulation is just so good. The first one is my Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk. I have it right here. This is literally my top foundation. Like I love this baby so much. I've been using her for years and years. See, this is why I wanted that makeup mirror because now the sun's going down and the lighting just changed, you see? Love this one. The The moment this goes on my face, I'm like, it's game over. And then another one that I love, but it's so expensive. It's like $80 or $85. It's the Tom Ford crap. Do you guys know what it's called? I try not to use it a lot because I love it. The Tom Ford fudge. Okay, I don't remember what it's called. Uh, Tom Ford. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go look. I'm gonna go look for it. I'm kind of panicking because I don't know where it is. Oh my god. I've been talking about it for a while. Let's see. I'm gonna go on my Sephora account. Oh my gosh, you guys, the other day I ordered that new replica perfume. It's the brand new one called On a Date. And they sent it to me. I ordered online. Sephora sent it to me, and the bottle, the the container was empty. There was no perfume inside. And so I reached out to them and they were like, sorry, we can't send you one. And I literally was like, wait what the heck but they finally sent it to me oh it's called the tom ford traceless soft matte foundation that is oh that is like top tier Koopy, why are you barking here it is i found it this one is so good oh my gosh it costs about three livers to buy this but oh my gosh it's amazing and actually i do have a third one that i love this is like my og full makeup like 2016 2017 makeup days this is the Too Faced born this way this is iconic it is a favorite of mine such good coverage when i want full coverage i tend to go for this one. Oh, i love it it feels amazing i have never been so late in my life we have like five minutes to do this i should have done this last night but i was like oh, i want to show everyone what we got kim first and foremost i wanted to show you guys this card hopefully this doesn't offend anybody it's because carlos is mexican and him and his sister they're just very very comical towards each other but we found this card on amazon and it says one year older and carlos thought it was really funny and he knows that kim is gonna literally love this card but i got this card off amazon i'll link all of this down below if you guys are interested but such a cute card it's very kim and if you guys just tuned in kim is my sister-in-law i'm not talking about myself so i'm gonna have to write in the card and then i also wanted to put her money in a red envelope for good luck because i don't think she's ever gotten a red envelope before i will have to write in her card while we're driving there and then she's a really big harry styles fan so i found this pouch on Amazon as well. I'm not even into Harry Styles. I really don't know anything about him or his music other than he dated Taylor Swift, I think, and they ran into the woods, right? Or something like that. This is so cute. I kind of wanted one myself because it was so adorable. So we are going to wrap this up nicely. I also got these boxes off Amazon. And then I also got her this Harry Styles tote, which I'll insert a picture just because I don't want to unfold it. And I got her another tote. Yeah, if you guys are looking for Harry Styles stuff, they have like the cutest things, you guys. And then we also got her these Amazon Echo Buds. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to write in her card right now. You guys, I hate rushing with all of my heart and I rarely ever rush. Okay, and then I'm gonna put in the bag. How cute is this bag I got at Amazon? It's the opposite of Kim. Kim's not like very girly, but I thought it was cute. <laughs> we're, we're very like, we pick on each other a lot, so she'll love it. Cute. 
Okay, I'm rushing right now. Carlos is gonna kill me because we're really late. I'm wearing a black top, black pants from Love Bonito. They're so cute. These pointed black heels from Miss Lola. The top is from Uniqlo. I'm carrying a little, a little cute little purse to add a little, you know, flavor. And then we have the ring, the watch, and we're good to go. When in doubt, just wear all black. Super cute. Goodbye, we're late. It is so, so bright. We made it. I have to adjust my lip product. I use the Refi lip pencil with the clear thing that keeps the lip product and it turned my lips kind of white. So I brought a lipstick. I'm gonna retouch. I'm gonna retouch. I'm gonna retouch. We'll be there in a few minutes. Just swung by my mom's house real quick. Look, Bobs, we used to live here. I know. Oh my goodness. So good to be back in our favorite area. Yeah. And I am hungry, you guys. So, so hungry. I brought my Rare Beauty. Oh, I don't know if you guys can see it. There we go. My Rare Beauty color in, what is this color? Lively. It's their matte lipsticks. The lighting, oh my goodness. There we go. Rare Beauty in the color Lively. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's a really, really, really pretty lip color. I'm just gonna dab a little bit. <laughs> You guys can see the sun took care of itself. We are now by the beach and it's kind of gloomy down here. Huntington Beach, I'll show you guys. I'll just flip it around. I miss living here. There she is in all her glory, Huntington Beach, California. So the beach is that way. I can't see it from the car. Oh, it's foggy, baby. Look at all the fog. And you just take PCH down the coast and we're gonna go to Newport Beach, which is probably the most beautiful place in the world. It's way too foggy all of a sudden to show you guys, but the ocean's over there and it looks very cold today. But we are entering Newport Beach. And then if you guys keep going, you will pass, I think, Corona Del Mar. Because Corona Del Rey is in LA, right babe? Yes. I always get them mixed up. But if you pass, then you'll reach that. And then if you go a little further, yeah, Corona Del Mar. you will reach my favorite place ever, which is Laguna Beach. You guys know I love watching MTV Laguna Beach, but we're like three miles from the restaurant But it got foggy all of a sudden my mom's area, which is only like 25 minutes away is sunny yeah. I feel like I can show my makeup better I don't love the way my makeup turned out today because I felt like I didn't have enough time But we changed the lip color a little bit. I'm wearing that rare beauty matte lipstick named lively. Oh, is it raining? just started sprinkling, how weird. And then MAC Cosmetics something something blush, I don't remember, but with Luminoso over. But I am doing a Charlotte Tilbury highlight over and I think it's so beautiful. And the foundation, I'm gonna have to try it another day again, you guys, cause I'm not like too in love with it. But I think my foundation looks good today. And then for eyebrows, I use Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil with their brow gel. And I also cleaned it up today. And then the lashes are Lily Lashes, which Lily Lashes are my favorite. And then the teeth are Dr. Shoe. <laughs> I'm so excited to eat. I saw that they have an octopus leg or something. So I'm excited to order and excited to see everyone cause we haven't seen Carlos's family in a few weeks. So it's been a long time. And I'm excited to celebrate Kim and have her open her present, but we'll see you guys there. Happy birthday! <laughs> Let's see all your tattoos. The new one, shout out Drew. Wait, which one? Shout is out it? Drew. Love it. Shout out Drew. Shout out Drew. It's her birthday. She's turning five. When are you connecting? Shout out Drew. Oh my goodness. Where's your newest one? Shout out, oh, Drew. <laughs> Wait, no, you got another one, didn't you? I got these on the same day. Oh. I got this one and then I went to Drew right after. Is it muy bien? Mm -hmm. What is it? Is it muy bien? <laughs> is it tamarind? Oh, it looks like tamarind. I got excited. What is it? It's drunk. Um, it's cute. Happy birthday, Kimmy. Michelle always gets the alcohol first, and then if it's good, then I get it. Try it though. Oh, it's not bad. Not bad? But you won't get your own? No. Okay. This corn is so good. I got carne asada tacos and octopus. It smells amazing. Michelle got the same thing but chicken. And then Carlos got the same thing as me too. Okay, smile. <laughs> Just stand. Just stand. Yes. There you go. Stand behind. There you go. Ready?
Is it a dress? It's heels. Because I the love, and everything. I love dresses. That, yes. I love dresses and heels. Yay. I have made it. Yay. 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 You have made For clinicals. Yeah. You can fit your notebook. Shout out Harry. Yay. Harry, if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> I love women, but I will lick your ass. Again, um, this was the greatest tour. I, I think this might have been. Um, why you're older? Because we're Mexicanos. Love it. This was not his writing. I guess it was. You, you write like shit. Practicing. You write like shit. You read like a third grade boy. What are you gonna write that? Oh no, this hey, is definitely. I love it. Is this your first one? This is the first, the, the first and only. I know how you write. Uh, I know. Yay! 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 Harry, I'm coming for you. And you're up. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to. You. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>